is their speech and favor. With their eyes barely peering above the podium. Drug treatments are so expensive. And their voices quivering. We need the passage of this bill. These holy name students are the future, but they stand taller and stronger for Lane Goodwin. You saw the pain he was going through, but he wanted to make a difference, so we thought, well, if he can suffer through cancer and still try to make a difference, we can at least take a bill and talk about him. While some lawmakers can agree on what to have for lunch, these middle school students can rally for a cause. They drafted a bill they hope becomes law. Through tax credits, it would lessen the financial burden childhood cancer places on families. Thumbs up. It's not just any law, it's Lane's law. Some kid our age made that big of a difference. We thought, well, for that age, we should be able to do the same thing. The way they honored Lane and the way these kids are fighting to help other families and kids that, are, that have childhood cancer, it's pretty um, amazing. While squirming in their seats, these students can see a little bit of themselves in Lane. And that's inspiration that I think all, all of us can draw from. But Lane's parents can see a little bit of their son in these students. You don't see kids stand up for a lot of things. And to stand up for another kiddo, especially a sick one, it's pretty amazing. You can find Lane in a picture, on a bracelet, and on a shirt, and hopefully on a bill that reaches the governor's desk. Now, Lane and I had a lot of talks those last few days, and um, we made promises to him that we're going to keep. So to see something like that pass to help other families would just be a blessing. In the future, some of these students will become doctors or firemen or parents themselves. Whatever they do, someone will be there. Oh, yes, this bill. With a thumbs up, as if to say thank you.